And Robert, first of all, as you all know, I mean, it goes without saying that in this crowd, I don't need to tell you that he was the, the face, the voice, and the heart and soul of, of TCM. Uh, You know, and, and I, I, wrote, I remember writing these exact words because he was, as you saw him, uh, distinguished, funny, unfairly charming, and smart as hell. And I, I just remember early on in my tenure at TCM thinking, God damn, like, like I knew coming in, right, that he was smart, right, and, and, and I could handle that. But then it turned out everyone loved him. <laughs> Uh, and he'd talk to you, and I'd be like, ah, yeah, you're charming. <laughs> Robert, as, as many of you know, being the, the, the foremost expert on classic Hollywood, which there was uh, in the world, um, he gave a lot of lectures, he hosted his own film festival, and, and whenever he would come and somebody invited him to come speak, first of all, a little quick, so it turns out Robert didn't even realize for a long time that people would pay for him to come speak. <laughs> people came here like, you, yeah. They'll do it. You'll make money and they'll turn out. His straightforward conversation really, it boils down to this, and I will say this. He said, no sad songs for me. I've had a great life. Everything I could have imagined could have happened. I had it. It's been a wonderful, wonderful life. So don't be sad. 